In this video, I'm going to show you five quick tips on turning a snare drum from sounding like this. Into this. The first tip is going to be notching out rings. In my own personal experience, it's better to record something with less muffling than needed rather than more as you can attenuate the ring and sustain, but however, it's very hard or impossible to make up for missing harmonics and sustain within a drum. Notching out these rings can clean up your snare sound and tighten up the sustain. The second tip is clipping your snare drum. Clipping your snare can fatten up the sound and shave off a bit of the harsh transient and it'll get the front end more consistent sounding. You can see here we have the Slate Virtual Mix Rack loaded up with the Slate FG73. You can do the same to the bottom snare, but this time we'll be even distorting the wires. If you have a snare bottom that needs more splat and length, you can distort or excite them to get them as dirty as you need. We have the Fab Filter Saturn plugin with the crunchy amp sitting on the lower band and the heavy saturation on the higher band. And we have the Isotope Ozone 5 Exciter with the tube saturation on these top two bands. The third tip is using a low-end enhancer or harmonic exciter. This can add low-end thump to your snare drum in a very pleasant way, instead of just boosting it with an EQ. The Huge Booty Bass Enhancer is a JS plugin within Reaper, similar to something like R Bass or Max Bass. We have it basically running full blast at 190Hz, which is about the fundamental of the snare drum. The fourth tip will be using two reverbs. The first reverb here is a Jazz Hall within the Verb Suite Classics with all the low end gone and the high end boosted. This is going to be focused directly on the high end sustain of the snare drum. The other reverb will be a tight room sound with lots of low end to build extra body and length within the drums. I have the announcer reverb in the ambiences section of the Verb Suite Classics with extra low end added. The fifth tip will be adding a room sample. If you have drums recorded in isolation without rooms, like these drums here which were recorded within an isolation booth, room samples can add to the depth and explosiveness needed to make a snare present within your mix. I'm using the GGD Matt Halpern signature pack with the low snare with only the room soloed and the repitch tuning the snare down one more semitone to match the fundamental of the actual snare drum. This is what it sounds like with and without the snare room. All together, the drums sound like this. And within the mix, they sound like this. Thanks for watching. I hope these five quick tips can improve your guys' mixes.